everybody, this is the fifth Chuai High 12 performance video in the series where I will be looking at the performance of Ibis Paint X, an Android app. My main focus is on how the pressure sensitivity performs and speed of the app. This is the first Android app in the series so far to have so many options in creating a blank canvas. There are a few preset sizes and then there's the option to have a custom size. It also has an option to choose the DPI of the canvas, an option not available in any of the three apps I have previously tested. For this video I have selected the HD preset which is 2160 by 1292 pixels. The first icon along the bottom is for switching between the brush tool and the eraser tool. Next icon hosts a few different tools including the brush and eraser. This is the icon which pops up the brush settings window. The fourth icon along is the colour palette. It's fairly simple with nothing fancy. The middle icon hides a grey background of the bottom bar. Next two icons are the undo and redo buttons which I feel are inconveniently placed since I like to use my non-drawing hand to hover over so I can undo quickly when required. But in this interface it's not possible. Finally we have the layers palette, hidden in this icon. It sure doesn't look as clean and modern in design compared to other apps I've tested. But the layers window has a lot to offer including options like flipping the layer both horizontally and vertically, as well as layer clipping and alpha lock which I commonly use. Let's move on to the icons across the top. This icon here has a few basic commands such as copy and paste. Next icon along is for pen stabilisation as well as some force fading options. This line here is without any stabilisation which comes out to be very wobbly. Whereas the second line here is 10 levels of stabilisation which turns to a perfectly straight line. Switching the force fade on means I can now control how much I want to taper the ends. If you watch carefully you will notice the line follows about an inch behind where my pen nib is. I thought maybe the lag was because I had stabilisation on, but later when I turned it off the lag was still there. Pressure sensitivity also seems to be non-existent. No matter how light or hard I draw the width of the line is constant with not even the slightest variation. I did however notice that drawing lightly gave a more tapered start and end to the line while drawing with a heavy hand meant the start and end of line was more rounded rather than tapering. The third icon along the top has some ruler guides and symmetry options. Ibis Paint X actually offers a lot here. Apps which have this feature is somewhat limited to straight ruler guides and simple symmetry. But here I am able to play around with the circle and oval guides. And for symmetry, Ibis Paint X has an interesting grid tool which allows perspective adjustments also. Although it may seem like a useful, just for fun tool, I wouldn't mind using it to make pattern backgrounds to go behind my chibi characters. And the final icon across here is sort of an image import window. Now that we're done with the interface, let's get to drawing our fourth milk carton. Ibis Paint X relies heavily on ads to support the software, which does get updates but they're mostly bug fixes. However, an advantage is you can use various brushes which normally you would need to pay for, but instead you can watch a couple of ads and use them for that particular day for free. I hate the flashing banner ads though, because they're super distracting, so I've put my Wi-Fi off, which results in a non-animated default banner which is slightly less distracting. So I'm going to stick with a dip pen for sketching since the Wi-Fi is off and I can't really watch any videos. And since I can't watch any of their ads, I can't get any free brushes. I felt having lower stabilisation was more comfortable for sketching because I was using faster strokes. However, I wouldn't recommend putting the stabilisation completely off because the jitter in the lines is quite bad with this app on the Chuai. I have to admit, I like the crisp lines which a dip pen produced. It felt like I was using a sharpened HB pencil. For the outline, I've gone for a thicker brush size, but still using the same dip pen brush. This reduced the crispiness of the lines to give a more thicker, cartoon-like look. Even though the pen strokes were satisfactory, I didn't enjoy drawing in Ibis Paint X, and it was down to the interface, 
The undo button is very important for me and in most apps it's usually placed to the left side or somewhere along the top. That way I can use my left hand to press it whenever I need to. On here however I have to move my right hand away from the drawing to use the undo and redo buttons. I was also having to redo a lot of the lines because of the pen lag. The lines weren't catching up to where the nib of the high pen was. It meant I either had a gap in between where two lines should meet or the line was too long. Despite the slight lag in drawing, the rotation and resizing of the canvas was nice and smooth with no lag which leads me to believe that the lag in drawing may be an issue with pen compatibility between Ibis Paint X and Chawai. Colouring on Ibis Paint X wasn't as much fun either. The app would constantly pause when filling in areas, and I also miss the watercolour and blending brushes available in many apps. Abyss Paint X has a smudge tool which seems to make a mess of blending, so the only tool I could use was the blur tool in attempts to blend. Now here comes the part which really annoyed me. Abyss Paint X has this setting where if I press down with my pen it changes the brush to an eyedropper tool to select the colour. I must have spent a good few minutes trying to draw tiny highlights on the eyes which should usually have taken 30 seconds. It's because the eyedropper tool kept appearing when I didn't want it. Once I'm done drawing, I simply exit the drawing to save. I couldn't find a save option, so I'm not actually sure if you can save as you draw. It would be annoying to have to exit the drawing every time you want to save. The best part of Ibis Paint X is right at the end. Every drawing is automatically recorded. By pressing the play button you can see a speed paint. You can then share in four different formats including PNG, JPEG, MP4 for the speed paint and also IPV. I'm sharing to Dropbox so I can pick up my work on my MacBook. Unfortunately there's no PSD format option and I'm not entirely sure what IPV format is to be honest. By pressing the small eye icon pops up the information window which has an upload button. It allows the user to upload directly to Twitter and the speed paint to YouTube. I wish features like this were available on the apps and software I use every day for my artwork. Overall the app was uncomfortable to use and pen pressure seemed to be non-existent. I also experienced pen lag on the Chuai with Ibis Paint X. That made drawing outlines and precise line work very difficult. However, that being said, Ibis Paint X does offer some unique tools such as the circle guides and symmetry grids, as well as useful direct upload features to Twitter and YouTube, with automatic recording. These features of the app are desirable, but the performance when drawing is a shadow over them, and it's possibly the last app I would reach for. I hope this video has been informative. If you're new to this channel, check out my other Chiwai performance videos. Until next time, bye!